Hello everybody. Good evening, good morning, good night, good afternoon. My name is Richard N and today we're going to explore Intercom together. Uh, remember the reason why we are here is because we are trying to uh, learn how to become proficient at some of the CRM tools and Intercom is another powerful CRM tool that we are going to explore right now. So this is just an overview. We are going to see the different parts, the different stuff that makes up um, your intercom dashboard as you explore with it. And this is just all about it. So today let us try and see if, maybe one or two things about intercom that you might be interested in. So the first things first, the first thing you're going to see when you come into your dashboard on, 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 on the intercom is your help desk. This is where you have your inbox and this is also referred to as your dashboard, right? Because this is where everything is shown. So this is where you're going to see, you're going to see your inbox and of course you use WhatsApp, you use Gmail accounts, so you know what it means to have an inbox. That is where you receive your messages, right? So you have your mention, this is for tickets where you were mentioned. Then you have created by you, which is a feature um, where you, you know, that helps you to see all the tickets that you created while using the intercom uh, software to layers on, you know, exchange with your customers. Then you have all, which basically has everything you've been doing for the last couple of times since you've been here. Now you have unassigned, these are tickets that hasn't been assigned to anybody. And then you have your dashboard, which of course, shows you everything you are doing like the features that you want you know that you've been using and all that so we have your support we have your technical you know just like that and then you have your support requests sometimes as a cs or as a customer service agent sometimes you can make uh some re you know some requests maybe to your sometimes you can make requests to your tech team to your logistic team to your development team and all of that here is where you find them and then you have if you have any bugs maybe while you were using the software it was not behaving as it's supposed to you can report bugs here you know so you can also request for feature maybe you want them to add something new to the you know to your work environment this is where you find it and that brings us to the end of what we now we also have the spam and then we have the practice the shortcut whatever and other stuff so this is all about what the the you know the help desk section of the words of the intercom now below the help desk we have the chats ai chatbots and this ai chatbots this is where you configure your chatbots and how you want it to display how you want it to interact with your customers you can see this is just what it does whatever you do at this add content section is what you're going to see as it performs here by the way it might interest you to know that for intercom the ai for intercom is referred to as what as fin you see say content is ready now you can test fin so if you talk about chatbots as far as the uh, intercom is concerned it is referred to what to fin so if you tell somebody i want to configure my fin they might want, you know they, you know they might want to know okay what are you talking about then you tell them you, are, you know you are referring to the chatbots on what on intercom so this is where you set up how you want the intercom or maybe how you want the intercom chatbot to behave with your what with your customers as they come to your website now mind you that your customers will never see this cost you know will not see this chatbot until you until you, you you like integrate into a what a website where they are going to visit and probably interact with this um, chatbot so here you can set the content you can set custom answers and then you can even come as much as well setting how you want the chatbot to look like what you want it to do whenever customers come to it and all of that and then here we come to what proactive support this is where you give you know follow up on what on your customers when your customers come and then, then they respond to your messages or they come through your whatsapp or I mean your your chatbot how do you want uh how do you want this intercom to behave with them you know do you, you know like sometimes when you're using your bank app you can notice that there is an announcement for a new feature there's an announcement of maintenance especially if you're 
you know some of the banks in nigeria i don't want to mention names so this is where you work you configure all that for your business using intercom this simply means that it's not every time that a customer submits a form to you that you go and start um, maybe you want to go and start uh, maybe composing a new email like oh dear customer you're welcome to our business blah blah blah, blah. you can simply conf you know you can simply configure the intercom to help you handle all of, all of that and probably as time goes on we are going to uh, you know explore how these are done for businesses as we are dedicated to helping you find the best solutions for whatever you do so let's go further and then we are going to come to this part where we talk about automation and as you know automation helps you to do what to you know to to configure your business and environment in such a way that you, you know you need less of human input you be able to you know reduce the number of time and minutes or maybe to reduce the work hour of what each staff and you lessen the workload on your what on your staff this is what you do when you come to the automation part just like we did recently we did uh automate zapier with our you know by bridging google drive and our email such that whenever we receive um any file on our google drive we get a whatsapp notification thank all thanks to mama our mama digital witch at yekui for teaching us all of this so this is what you do on your on 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 your automation, and then we have the con. Um, then we have the articles. Now, on this article, this is where you write, or you you know, you and your team, you write about some solutions to your customers, such that when they want to do some things that they could not find easily, they can you know, they can easily come here and they will find what the guides. This is where you talk about the guides, how to do, set, you know, certain things for your business right let's say you are maybe you are like a logistics company and then you want to tell your customer how to how to submit uh maybe a ticket maybe how to how to invite the logistic team to their house to come and carry or maybe to their warehouse to come and carry all the goods they want to send out to other customers this is what, now this is how you you teach your customers how to do that for your business and then we have the reports now on this report this is where you see everything that is going on, how our staff working for the day, how many tickets have been responded to, how many tickets is hanging, you know, how many reports and all those stuff, you know, all reports, you can see everything here, conversations between your staffs and the customers, the articles, you know, the conversational tags and whatever, everything you need to know about the report, about the business, you're going to find on this report tab. And then we have the contacts. This is the most important aspect of what of intercom because you as a customer service agent as a maybe as a support officer using intercom for the business that hired you or that you're working for you are going to find what contacts and this is where you're going to work where you're going to see that on this part of the tool you have the you know you have the ability to work to to manage your contact and this you can if you go to this new users or leads this allows you to, to do what to create a new user to also create a new lead and then you can also import contact from what maybe from a csv file or already existing in your system maybe something you got from other resources you can import into this place and then you can use them away and then um this contact also allows something very, very interesting which is the sleeping away this is maybe simply for customers that you think are no longer doing as they used to do maybe these customers have started to develop feelings for maybe for other tools or maybe for other businesses or for other products this is where you do what you see them so you can also manage accounts for your customers and other businesses and all that and then we have the messenger and omni channel now this is where you set up uh extra um, channels to help you do what interact with your, with your customers you know you see you can provide customer support through whatsapp you can provide customer support through email you can do it through phone you can do it through messenger you can do it through what through instagram twitter was there but now it's no longer there and then you have sms and then you have facebook so that is all about the messenger and omni channel then now we have the app store this is another interesting part uh, of uh, intercom because this part allows you to do what this part allows you to bring in other features other functionalities that you know that are good with 
other softwares into your work, your work environment, stuff like Jira Cloud, Salesforce, Google Analytics, Instagram, WhatsApp, Delight Inc., then Tagado, Jira for tickets. You see, there are just so many that things that you can bring in here. There are so many. And what's even interesting is that they were grouped into what? Into different spells. You see, you say free apps to install, you see, for support teams, for sales teams. So that means if you are in sales or if your business is all about sales, there are, you know, there are apps that you can bring in from here. Apps like HubSpot, Calendly, Pipedrive, Mac, Mad Kudu, Lead Scoring and Outreach. We have Guest a Demo and all those. You know, we have Kickfire, all of that. And if you're into marketing, you have certain things that you can bring in here to stuff like Google Analytics. We have Segment. We have Marketo. We have Heap. We have Zapier. We have Typeform. We have Kickfire, uh, Clearbit Review, and all that. These are things that you can do what you can all bring into your world, into your intercom environment as a what, as a user. And it makes your work very much easy. Then we also have the CRM uh, tools that you can bring in to your words, into your environment, stuff like heads, heads up. We have Ye, we have ClickUp, we have Notshare, we have Outreach, we have Zelt, we have Lantern, and so many of them. So you see, the intercom as a as a software allows you to do a lot of things that you wouldn't have done with other CRM tools, and that is what makes it very, very interesting. Then we have this is usually for onboarding. This is where you are, you know, you are taught everything you need to know about, about intercom and this way here for your own world benefit. And then also, in case you're wondering, where is my account? How do I manage my account? Don't worry. Just a little bit down below here, you have the what? The account section. This is where you are going to be able to find your profile. You can come with this by clicking on your name. You can simply manage um, everything about your profile. You can, in fact, you can, can change your name you can simply add pictures uh like now i'm going to use this uh one i'm going to use this to make you know to, to my picture you see i can simply set that up and i will do what and i can easily save it and once i do that that will become my what my profile picture and then i can see every details about myself like where i'm living and all those things and then what's even interesting is that you can even modify it to your taste and aside from that, when you go back a little bit, you're going to be able to set language. Are you in US? Are you going to use a uh, Dutch? Are you using Espanol? Are you France? Are you are you are you using French or are you from Portugal? You can set language that suits what you are able to speak. And then you can even set up your workspace, such as you can see the current workspace that you manage, and then you can add new workspace and all that. I'm a, a, Apart from this also, you can also use the setting feature, which allows you to do what to set up the words, the, you know, the intercom the way you want it. And then you can see your account and then your billing, how you add your cards and all of, you know, all of those things. So this is just the basic things you need to know about intercom. And I know in another video, we are going to explore where we are going to start creating tickets, uh, maybe creating contacts, importing and exporting contacts, creating our chatbots, you know, giving our customers the priority support that they deserve, and so on and so forth. So for now, I'm going to encourage you to do what? To try as much as you can to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Fast Giddy, and share with your friends. Watch our videos from beginning to the end, as that is how you can get to learn uh, properly, and then share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.